Hey, it's Dan Zimmerman. Welcome to Illustrate to Educate. Don't forget to subscribe for weekly objective videos on topics that matter. Have you ever wondered what the differences are between left-wing populism and right-wing populism? In this video, we'll take a look at the essential differences between the two. Before we dive into the differences here, let's talk about a common framework for interpreting populism, which is known as the ideational approach. This defines populism as an ideology, which presents the people as a morally good force and contrasts them against the elite, who are portrayed as corrupt and self-serving. Populists differ in how the people are defined, but it can be based along class, ethnic, or national lines. Populists typically present the elite as political, economic, cultural, and media establishments. They are often accused of placing their own interests or the interests of corporations, foreign countries, or immigrants above the interests of the people. Populist parties and social movements are often led by charismatic people who present themselves as the voice of the people. Populism is often combined with other ideologies such as nationalism, liberalism, and socialism. Thus, populists can be found at different points along the left-right political spectrum. And that's why we're here, to compare and contrast the difference between left-wing populism and right-wing populism. Let's first compare how they're defined. Left-wing populism, also called social populism, combines left-wing politics, anti-elitist points of view, opposition to the establishment, meaning the dominant group or elite that controls the civil government or hierarchical organization, and speaking for the common people. On the other hand, right-wing populism, also called national populism and right-wing nationalism, combines right-wing politics, anti-elitist points of view, and opposition to the establishment as well, but instead of speaking for the common people, it's about speaking to the common people. Another difference between the left and the right is who they consider the elite to be. For the left, it is more often the business elite, and for the right, the elite usually refers to the government, politicians, and bureaucrats. Both right-wing populism and left-wing populism object to the perceived control of liberal democracies, also referred to as Western democracy, by the elites. However, populism of the left also objects to the power of large corporations and their allies, while populism of the right normally supports strong controls on immigration. This leads us to looking a little bit deeper into their fundamental beliefs. Important themes for left-wing populists usually include anti-capitalism, social justice, pacifism, and anti-globalization. The criticism of capitalism and globalization is linked to anti-militarism, which has increased in the left populist movements as a result of the United States military operations, especially those in the Middle East. Lastly, the populist left relies on egalitarian ideals, the principle that all people are equal, as well as supporting minority rights. Right-wing populism can differ by region. For example, in Europe, the term right-wing populism is used to describe groups, politicians, and political parties that are generally known for their opposition to immigration, especially from the Islamic world, and for Euroscepticism. Right-wing populism in the Western world is generally associated with ideologies such as anti-environmentalism, neo-nationalism, anti-globalization, nativism, and protectionism. Lastly, European right-wing populists also typically support expanding the welfare state but barring undocumented immigrants from receiving government benefit. Did you find this video helpful about left-wing and right-wing populism? If so, please hit that like button, comment, share this video, and subscribe to Illustrate to Educate. If you haven't seen my other videos, visit my channel or click on a video to the right.